Right, in this lesson, I'm going to be bringing in a different object. So if you see here, I already have a, um, um, a, a chair, and so I can turn off this chair. Now, one of the, the problems that we're gonna find is if I didn't set up my layers, then it may default into the same layer, but let's go ahead and we'll just see what happens. We'll go file, import. So it's really important you build this correctly in AutoCAD and you can always go back um, and change it. So this time I'm gonna be bringing in my, my table. And so um, I'll just go ahead and, and find my table. And so it's a DWG file and it comes in, should come in pretty seamlessly. Again, this one's gonna come in to, to zero because I haven't, for example, differentiated the layers the legs or the surface. And if uh, you want to, you can do that, but you have to do it before. And then the geometry, I default to 0 0.01. Uh, it really, this is where the resolution when you're rendering, it looks like it might be what we would maybe call bitmapped. It's just the, the, um, the amount of uh, splines that come in. All right, so I will say, okay here. And now in this case, um, I built this down from the work surface. So a couple of things I can do, I can just grab this layer. And then if it's already set to my settings, which is move, um, then I can just move it up. You can key it in, but honestly, it's just as easy just to eyeball it. And then I could make this a bigger uh, uh, zoom in and I can see now it's a little above and and so I can bring it in. Um, and it's always best I find when you build things in CAD, um, to build it in, in the coordinate that makes the most sense, right? So if I'm building a table, it's gonna be on the ground. So uh, obviously we, we'd wanna build that up, all right? So I already have my materials in here. And if you don't remember where the materials are, um, they're going to be up here in the material editor. And you may recall that it, I think it defaults to slate. Um, and this is really where you can build your own. Uh, but uh, for example, there are uh, materials and it, it depends on, you can buy them and um, what 3ds Max versions you have, but there's there's materials that you can adjust. But what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna be working off the uh, compact editor. And so I've already added some textures in here. And so uh, let's go down to, let's look at the three quarter view here. Now, the cool thing is for me is I've already set this up. Um, and what I mean by that is I've, I've set up the, um, I've set up these views uh, with the, the textures and everything here. So let's go ahead and um, let's, let's uh, we want this to be our primary view. So I've clicked in that window. And so this is gonna be my primary view. Now I'm stuck with what the camera sees here, you may realize, because you might wonder. So for example, because I already have a movie set up, it's going to spin around where that, that chair was. So let's go ahead and um, let's select a different view. So I, I'm gonna be in perspective. I can zoom in and out. Um, I can take my hand tool down here and I can recenter it. Now I'm just, because I'm lazy here, I'm just gonna put in a texture that I already have. The floor is already good. I highly recommend you change that, but let's look at a couple things. So the problem is right now that uh, my camera is stuck at a different point. So what I can do is I go to my camera target and then I can uh, select the target and I can right click on here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be moving the target. So you gotta be kind of a little tricky here um, in that we're not selecting the um, the, the uh, table. And so I might wanna uh, go in on this and let's make sure that we have the right, um, all the right necessary settings. All right, so maybe zoom out a little bit here and let's put this you can just grab the corner and generally put it in the front. Now, um, let's go here and see what we're actually seeing. So go to the camera mode. Now I could just add another camera. Um, you know, you, you can do that very easily. Um, so this is really um, not ideal because of where it is. So uh, sometimes what happens, so I notice is, uh, even though you should be able to move things, they sometimes the, the, everything locks into place when you make it a, um, um, a camera. So you have to be really careful and it might be easier just to make a new one. Uh, but then let's go here. And then for example, uh, you know, I, sometimes you want to scale it and you can't make the circle any bigger, or sometimes you can. So it's just a little tricky. Uh, so it might be easier to make a new one, but anyway, saving time here, because I have just essentially recycled um, my, my previous one, um, I've saved a lot of time here. And think of this again as a, as a studio uh, where you've 
you know, if you have a studio where you're doing camera shots and such, um, you wouldn't have to necessarily rebuild it. You just drop the object on there. So let's go ahead and preview it. Um, and by pushing play on the bottom here. All right. So there's a little things on the outside and I can, you know, I could always go in, for example, and say, well, you know, now that I've got a bigger object, maybe we just scale this and you grab the corner and you can scale everything. But then the issue again is the tiles are bigger, but if you don't care, uh, you know, you, you could always change that uh, in, in the other setting where we were adding the materials. So that would be in here and uh, you would find your tile. And I think this is it. And so the tiling, um, what I could do is if I want to bring it down, um, I could do something like that, right? So, and then I could, I could also add bigger tiles. Actually, I'd, I'd want to go the other way here. So, um, all right. And so remember, this is a pattern that's repeating itself. So now, um, to, to make a, a, a single rendering, I'm in, I'm in, make sure you're in the three quarter view. And so I could do the, the two lessons here where I would do the quick little rendering. I would suck my teapot and instead of a um, active, go back to single. And then I would make this a, uh, the output would be a, um, a JPEG, right? So we've already, so, so make this a JPEG. So uh, make sure I say JPEG. And then this is not the, the chair, obviously, this is going to be my table. And I wanna put it in the appropriate folder. So I know it's not gonna be here. So I go to my, uh, wherever you put it, I have a, a table lesson. And so I might make a new folder here, call this one rendering. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and just make my uh, table. This is a JPEG again, so you don't need the AVI table. All right, let's say save. So click in here and save it, and it's gonna do a very fast rendering for me. If you have issues, remember it may be uh, right here. And then I, I go ahead and open that up. So a uh, couple ways of doing it, you could say render, um, make sure you render it, All right? Uh, this is not the, the, all right, so so right now it's doing it as the movie file. So um, let's let's cancel that. So make sure that you've set this up properly. Um, and so what we want to do is this should be a, uh, a JPEG and we want to make sure it's single, right? And so pick the view you want. Um, and I'd say go ahead and then put render here. All right, so there's my view. I'm, I'm happy with that. And so that's what that's what the table rendering is. Now, if I wanna make the movie, again, some things you can do, if you wanna make this a little bit more, I could say, you know, I want this to be um, 500 frames because the other one is just too quick and it makes me sick to watch it. So then I go here to range 500. Um, and so the thing is though, I have to change it down here too. And so the way you do that is like this. So you'll see a little clock down here. You wanna click on the clock and then this is where you change. And there's a lot of things you can do. You can slow it down, uh, but let's go ahead and, and change this again to 500 uh, and it should automatically change up there. So 500, say, okay. And so I could just keep it on active and what, uh, but you change it there. So either one is fine. And then uh, the other thing though is you, you may notice that um, the rendering, let's just see what happens here. Uh, if I push play, All right, so it's gonna spin a lot and then it stops, right? All right, so the way that you change that, because what happened is I changed it to 100 and it goes to 100 and it stops, right? And so what's the point of that, right? So what I need to do then is I actually need to select the camera and I'm going to tell the camera, if you look here at 100, it defaults 100, you're just gonna drag this and make this red line to 500. Okay, and so now what should happen, hit escape, um, if, I if, I, if I drag this, it should go around one whole time. Now it's much slower, much slower, maybe too slow to be honest with you, uh, but it's gonna take obviously longer to render it, but that's how I would change the duration of this. And so again, um, this is what I wanna render. I'm going to come in here and I'm gonna say, um, uh, active, and then I need to change it from a, a, a JPEG and I need to make this, see, I already accidentally did a little one here. I wanna make this an AVI and I'll call this uh, AVI uh, and this is gonna be my movie. All right, so I could say movie, but it'll be pretty self-explanatory when I try to open up the file because it'll go as a movie. So if you had tried to render it without changing it um, 
to an AVI, it's going to render lots of frames. All right, save this and OK. And then um, it's going to take, obviously, five times longer to render than the one before. But go ahead and push Render. And then you should see it uh, slowly going around. Uh, make sure we want to make sure that we had selected, we hadn't changed it out. We were in the, the um, we had selected the camera. All right. So I'm going to pause this as it renders because it's going to go really slow, but that's OK. OK, so uh, one thing I would change your rendering. I just did the rendering and it took forever. So I would probably just do like 200. So um, it takes a long time to render. So I would just do the 200 here and then render it and then save it. And you should have a movie file. So then I will go ahead and open up my movie file and let's see what that's all about. All right. So. And then uh, again, once you open it, you can do different uh, do different things. So here's my rendering. Now, actually this is 500 and it's a little bit more manageable. I could increase the uh, resolution. There's a lot I can do, but notice how nice that wood looks. And that's just from a simple photograph. So very quick way to, to do the, uh, the rendering. And then again, if you wanted to, you could very easily do the repeat. Um, you know, there's a lot you can do to it. So um, that is your lesson. So you've taken the table, you've created the rendering uh, as a JPEG, and then you've also made a movie. And you've completed today's uh, activities.